It is still as a dish of whole duck braised with tamarind and coriander. I remember having doing special occasions because this is not an everyday dish. And there would be all kinds of Pranakan food laid out on the table. This dish in the Pranakan culture is an indication of the lovely marriage between the Chinese and Malays. Okay, here's the ipizio. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice or not? Okay, can can oh, so good. Mm. And then with sambal belacan. I cannot wait for the sambal belacan. Look at yeah. the sambal belacan from just now. Yeah, we have the lime. This is the right way. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then... Oh, there's a right way and a wrong way? Or? I know, yeah, just like yeah. that. There's like... I feel like there's like a few different flavours going on in one bite. Mm. This would be on the altar for, you know, ancestor worship or yeah. birthday. And then the duck would be sort of recycled. And it's marinated, fried, and then, you know, sort of boiled again. Now, originally it would be the Hokkien style, which is uh, lo up. The pranakans coming here, added elements like shallot, mm -hmm. as well as coriander powder and tamarind to make the dish heartier. In a feast, like a Singapore feast, it's always Sunday. <laughs> Family yes. get together. Yes. And then a lot of food on the table, right? Yeah, all over, messy, very loud. People always ask me like, why are you so loud? But when you come to my house, right, you know, on any day, like the, the natural volume of mm. what, how, we, how we speak at home is already so loud. So you imagine like 20 Eurasians around the table, Pranakan culture is very much like Eurasian. Yes. Started in Malacca because that's where actually uh, the Portuguese settled and you know then the Chinese came as traders and they would come with the northeast monsoon on sailing boats and then they have to wait till the monsoon changes to southwest to go back to China. And they started families here. Then uh, you know when Singapore's modern history was yeah. open. 200 years ago, the, the Pranakans came here. Yeah, I think that's, that's amazing because, you know, a lot of times when we sort of draw back to our history, it's always that 1965, but then there's so much that has happened before that, so many amazing people that started the story before that, right? Just take the whole piece. Can just take the whole take piece, right? I don't need to be shy, right? You don't need to be okay, shy, you don't need okay, to be shy. Yes. You, know, you know, this um, Pranakan culture is very interesting. Okay. It's a blend of Malay and Chinese, but in the parts of life which are serious, like birth, marriage, mm -hmm. Death, of which death is the most important. You get the best party when you're dead. Okay. And Tok Panjang feast is, you know, it's Tok Panjang is a long table. It was actually British. I always say that you can tell a family's history by looking at their dining table. Okay, wow, what that's do they kind of eat? poetic. I think Singaporeans are we are so unique that way because we Different, almost we almost know each other's culture yes, we because know. we eat each other's yeah. like food almost yeah. every other day. Yeah. And you know, it's very inclusive. Yes. That people of different faith, you know, ethnic groups, different yeah. cultures can be sharing together. And, and I think what's so important is, in a way, food is the ties that bind in Singapore.